they said they're waging war against the citizens. And they did. They waged war against the town. CNN said oh, no one smoked, no one's being hit with tear gas. Right he was getting hit with tear gas. The night I saw you, I had been out to, to, to four in the morning. The, one, the person I was with, she was a uh, she was a journalist. Her mom got shot with a rubber rubber bullet. We got tear gas. The police moved in with our, our, our AR-15 on us as close as I am to you. Told us we moved again, they would shoot us. They waged war on us. Suddenly the town was disposable. In the name of law and order. But there was no law, there was no order. There was no justice. And so eventually many of us went home, but a whole lot of people didn't, a whole lot of young people. The same young people we talk about ain't got no values, whose music we rejected, uh -huh. whose clothes we dismissed. Those same young men stood and women stood out there every single night. They slept in tents, they gave up their jobs, they gave up their lives to call for justice. They didn't look like the civil rights movement. They didn't look like Dr. King and them. But you know what Dr. King and them ain't look like the people before them? But they called for justice and they said, we will not be disposable. You heard their cries. This is, tell us what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. They called for it. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. And we waited, and we waited, and we waited for an indictment. We waited for transparency, but there was none. Pastor, if a prosecutor wants an indictment, they can bring one witness. It could be your blind cousin. <laughs> and then you charge them. And then you have a trial. This man brought forth hundreds of witnesses and didn't tell them what to ask for. I, I guarantee you if Michael Brown had been arrested for stealing at the store, he would have found a charge for him. 